in the early 2000s. And just at that time, the last barrel makers were, you know, retiring. And it, it has created a crisis. And there is also, I'm happy to report, a really, really interesting response to that crisis. A small group of younger barrel makers, really kind of the last, uh, the last group of craftspeople to go through traditional apprentices, apprenticeships, they have teamed up and um, they have these yearly workshops um, on Shodoshima, the island that I've mentioned right near here. And they they stay and uh, at a soy sauce maker Yamaroku Shoyu on Shodoshima, quite famous. And they they invite young people from all over Japan, and for several weeks they collectively build soy sauce barrels, which are about about seven feet 